My name is Arthur Brandt, I'm a Dutch art detective and in the media I'm referred to as Indiana Jones, which is absolutely not the truth. I see myself more as um, Peter Sellers in his role as Clouseau, the French detective, who always follow the wrong leads, who messes things up, but in the end, because he's so determined, uh, solves the case and I think I'm more like that. I have luck um, and um, that's it case to date and yeah. what, what you got out of that? Well my biggest case to, you know, to date uh, absolutely is Hitler's horses. I recovered all these very important statues that once adorned the Reichschancellery, Hitler's headquarters in Nazi Germany and everybody thought them to be destroyed and somehow they survived the war and I managed to track them down. So that was the biggest case and when such a case is uh, fulfilled, you are happy, of course. You know it's going to be all over the world. But on the other hand, you know you're never going to top this again. This is a story that nobody thought to be true. This was just impossible and it turned out to be true. So I got a little bit of a depression afterwards. I thought, well, it's never going to be like this again. But uh, you never know. There are some cases which might be as big as this. There was a lot of crime in the art world. Everybody thinks about the art world as something very posh, but in the end it's about money. 30% of all the, all the art uh, on the market is fake. So we are dealing here with a lot of money and a lot of shady characters. Art dealers, forgers, thieves, um, auction houses who sometimes don't do the right thing. So. It's, it's a whole circus of, of strange people um, and, as I said, a lot of money. We are talking sometimes about billions. And um, all these people are chasing this money. And I'm always standing there in the middle and thinking, well, we are talking about art. It's not only about money. So um, I am somehow I'm not part of them because they all drive big cars, they all have 10 mistresses or whatever. They live the, the good life, but a whiskey life. And I'm only in there to, to track down stolen art. So it's a big contrast. I'm always the guy coming with a bus to a big party where everybody is standing there in the biggest, the, the most expensive suits and the biggest cars outside. And then I step in and I said, hi, off again. And uh, in the beginning it was difficult for them because it's not like they wanted me to have around. It's not that I'm good news. When I step in, it's, uh, normally it's bad news. But they now started to understand that I'm trying to track down stolen art. It's not about getting people behind bars. The art should come back. Because sometimes we are talking about real important art known all around the world and it's cultural heritage. It's, and if pieces like that are stolen and are lost forever, we really miss something. So I'm really focused on getting stolen art back, while these people are focused on, well, they talk about art, but in the end it's about money, it's about big parties, big yachts and big cars. So somehow it's, I'm not, um, I don't fit in very well, let's say it like that. Of course, it's, it's part of my strength because they know I'm not in it for the money. Um, I'm not in it to get people arrested. I'm just there to get the art back. And first they try to ignore me, but I keep on calling them. I keep on showing up on their parties, even uninvited. So in the end they think, well, to get rid of this guy, uh, let's make a deal. So that's more or less how I work. Um, they do respect my simple life. They do respect that there is somebody out there who doesn't, who is not uh, impressed by their uh, expensive watches, their cars, etc. So they do respect that. They know that um, I'm not after them to to blackmail them or to to get money out of them. I'm just there for a simple reason. And they do respect that. But of course you get in funny situations. Uh, hilarious sometimes. Well, the thing is, stolen art is not in the possession of the Salvation Army. So I have to deal with the people who deal with stolen art. And we're talking here about 
sometimes big criminals. Um, I have to work with the police and I have to work with the criminal underworld and I have to befriend them all. So if I would have a party and I would invite every all my friends or acquaintances, you would have police, you would have criminals, um, you would have art dealers who might be in the middle of, of both sides. So it's, um, yeah, I have a strange network, absolutely.